Right, so you're going to need to download a couple of pieces of software. First one is the USB floppy emulator version 2, which is from IPCAS. The details will be down below. Um, what this will do is format your USB disk, but it'll give you, let's say, 100 USB floppy drives in different order. We'll see that in a second. Okay, so here's the IPCAS software and what we're going to do is select our USB disk and we're going to format it and what it's going to say is what size disk do we want so yeah we want 1.4 disks we're not interested in whether they're DOS bootable or not and the number of floppy disks well we can have 10 as a starter or we could go up to let's say 50 I think I've got about a 2 gig drive in there begin format yep okay buy data so all 50 disks just created and we'll close that and now what we have is 50 disks so basically now what we can do is we can open a disk and we can copy software in there so let's say if I went to my downloads Archimedes and let's copy a zip file 3d tanks let's just copy that Let's go back to where we were, paste that on in there, and close our little window, so that's our 00, zero floppy drive. What I need to do is right click and save that, otherwise we can lose our settings. Right, that disk now is 12% used with that zip file. I can close off IPCAS, and then we'll go and look at it on the ARC. And there's another few tools we'll need as well. Okay. So basically we've got our GoTech, we've got our little mini USB drive in there. We're on track 000, which is the one that we just uh, made. And then on the screen, what we need to do is, so on the screen, if we go to our floppy drive, now what we've got is, 3D tanks, the zip file. So we can ignore this system file. And another thing we do need, so I've got a 3020, the 3020. So I actually have a hard drive here. <clears throat> You'll need a program called Sparkplug. And Sparkplug is basically WinZip on the Archimedes. So if we fire up Sparkplug and it comes down and is loaded in the taskbar, we can close this off. We can actually drag our zip file straight out of windows down to a spark plug and it's going to open and what we get is 3d tanks.adf right so we're going to go and look at another piece of software we're going to use and we'll be coming back to that okay here's another cool piece of software that's uh, not been out too long it's called ADFFS so basically what this is this is an ADFS <clears throat> program for Risk OS. It says 3.5 more, but it actually runs on 3.1. I've tested it. And this will allow you to copy this software onto the Archimedes. And basically, you can then mount an ADF file. An ADF file is a, an Archimedes disk file. Once you've mounted that, you can run any software. So you can download ADF images and you can just open them directly from the floppy drive. And we're going to go and do that now with that lander or 3D tanks one that we just downloaded. Okay, so we've got Elite downloaded, Elite Zip. We're going to open that up with just Basic Explorer. And we're going to copy the ADF file. And then what we need is our, we'll get disk three. So we'll load up our USB. Disk three, and we're going to paste ADF in there. Close that off and save O3 and close that off so now we have disk 3 and we're going to try that on the Archimedes okay so we're currently on disk 2 but what happens is if I switch to disk 3 click the button there we go we're on 3 and then hopefully we're going to go to the ADFS file and the elite is there. 
So it's read the disk file, and if I actually fire up Elite, it's now going to read it. <coughs> it's loaded it, and we've got Elite running. So it's read the actual disk file, and that's how it's all working. I'll show you one more tip and trick that you might need as well, just to do with um, 3.1 and working with zip files. Okay, so if you've just put spark plug on your machine, on your ARC, and you're running 3.1, and you fire it up and it comes up with a resources not found error, what you need to do is to shift click the spark plug app, and then you need to shift click the pling, which is the exclamation mark, run, and what that will do is it will fire up an edit, and you'll have the pling run file, which we'll look at now. Okay. So we've got the pling run file there, and we've got the line highlighted which says if system path is equal to nothing, then error zero. And that's the line we want to basically exclude. So at the beginning of the line, you just need to put a pipe, and then close the file, saving it, and that will get you around this not working on OS 3.1.